Welcome back to the channel. This is the Ian West Network, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Prime Connect clip on microphone, so stay tuned. We'll get right into it after the drop. Okay, we're back. Now, and I did already take the headset out of the case, as you can see. Um, it will be neatly wrapped with a little bread tie. I forget what those are called, but this is how I left it. So, like I said, it does have the 3.5 headphone jack. Um, unfortunately, it's not USB-A. Most of my headsets are, I'm sorry, headsets. Most of my, um, what do you call it, recording devices that I use, microphones or anything, are normally USB-A. So, it's plug in the software, download, or you download the software and you're good to go. Now, again, this doesn't have any type of sound profile whatsoever. Meaning you can't change the game, you can't change the physical volume unless you go into the actual settings of whatever application you're using. Or the, be it a game, you will uh, change the volume of the game itself, change the volume of the microphone. Um, you do have options to do that depending on the actual device or actual game that you're using. Now, I will give you guys two examples. One is going to be without me uh, adjusting the volume whatsoever. The second one is going to be a little bit different where I will adjust the volume. The microphone is going to be a little bit farther away from my chest. So you can just hear the different sound profiles of you yourself <laughs> moving the headset around and just trying to figure out uh, the best placement for it. So again, this is all that it comes with. It does have some instructions inside the box, but the, I'm sorry, that's a lie. It's not even instructions. All it does is show you that uh, the attachment that 3.5 headphone jacks normally have, which is, uh, let's see if the symbol is here. doesn't show it. But anyway, normally this is an attachment that could plug into your headphone jack and a little, I forget what the other jack is called, for recording. So it'll pick up your voice. It gives you the option to, uh, it just basically lets you know you can buy that device. It doesn't come with that device as an accessory. This is everything that you get. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's plug and play, whether you plug this up to a tablet whether you plug this up to a computer, whatever it may be. Without further ado, I'm rambling over here. I want to give you the sound profiles, let you know how it sounds, the clarity, things like that, and then we'll hop into the final verdict. Okay, so this is the first test with the microphone. Now, the application that I am using is called StreamYard, so if you're familiar with it, uh, there are many applications that you can actually use. This is just to test the microphone itself and the volume of the microphone. So let me see if I can actually turn this up so you guys can hear better. This is how this $5 microphone is gonna sound if it's uh, attached to a computer and you're actually doing some type of recording. This is just a test one. So the second test we're gonna, re we're gonna uh, actually test this while hooked up to uh, a video game. That's where, <laughs> to me, the real test begins. And I do a lot of recordings over videos. Okay, so this one is a quick test just to show you how this microphone is going to sound during gameplay. What I noticed with a few microphones, and again, I'm not a microphone enthusiast, is that when I'm playing certain, just video games in general, um, because this mic doesn't have any gain, you can't physically change the volume, whatever the volume is in your computer settings is what this monitor is basically, not monitor, I'm sorry, I said it wrong, is what it's going to sound like can't really change it if you have background noise it'll pick up whatever's near you so just be aware of the fact that if you're trying to podcast or do certain uh settings in this microphone you won't have the ability to actually change the volume itself you can only do that in the actual system settings of the computer and if you can hear my, that's my cat in the background but that is the second test right here so you heard the examples that i gave uh, in the video. The first one was StreamYard. So if you're using some type of application where you're streaming your face or um, basically just doing basic recordings, that's how it's that is how it's going to sound. Now granted I did not I didn't do any edits to that microphone. And you may be wondering, well this microphone doesn't have the features to change to surround or gain or doesn't have any sound profiles and you'll be absolutely correct. But the difference is that in the second video, um, <clears throat> if you use Windows itself to act, or you just use screen record, I'm sorry, if you use screen record in the Windows, you do have the option to change how loud the mic will sound during the recording 
Or if you go into games, you can lower microphone volume. Like when I played that game, Ender Lilies, in the second video, um, I turned up the game higher, made the mic lower. The mic wasn't clipped to my chest. I held it in my hand closer to my keyboard so the sound came out a little bit differently. If I would have kept that to my chest, it would have probably sound more like the first video. Now, granted, this is a microphone that uh, you're supposed to use while clipped to your chest. I just wanted to show you that it is possible to change the sound for the better if you're on a budget. But there are better options out there. Like there are other microphones at five below that you can get for the same price, five dollars, six dollars that have their own stand and uh, work with sound a little bit better than this one. But granted, this is for people that are mobile on the go. You might be uh, recording things outside. Even if you are indoors and you're hooked up to a computer, it doesn't sound bad. I'll be honest, um, this microphone did sound better than the microphone that comes in my uh, all-in-one computer, if we're being completely honest. But again, um, it's $5. $5, this is probably for someone that's starting off. I do suggest something like this, not because it's good, but because if you're starting off at YouTube, you got to start somewhere, right? If you have the money to buy a decent microphone that you're going to keep for the rest of your life, I personally have the Blue Yeti. Um, I'm not buying any more microphones. That's it for me. On the other, well, that's it for me for the channel right now. And if, if it ever becomes bigger, that's a different story. I might get something a little bit better. But for now, that microphone is good enough. Uh, so it really is to each their own. I just say get the equipment that you need just to start yourself off initially and work from there. It's not a rush, especially if you're doing YouTube. And if this is your first time trying something out, hey, get the mic, try it out. It may work for you in certain environments. It's five dollars. You can't really go wrong with it. And you heard the quality. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. A like when you hear some of these podcasters or some of these shows, they're putting thousands or hundreds or thousands of dollars into their setup. This is a $5 microphone. What are you expecting? <laughs> but anyway, that's the video. Um, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.